What's up YouTube, Mco 40 here, giving you guys a price update video. Uh, most of you guys have been requesting updates on card prices, um, things like that going into nationals this weekend, so I figured I would deliver for you guys. It's been a little while uh, since I've done one of these. I've been kind of holding back, waiting to see what the ban list brings. Um, and we got some pretty interesting things that have happened um, as of late. Uh, the first one is Goyo Guardian. I'm going to show the Ultra, the DT, and the Ultimate. Uh, three or four days ago when the list got released, Goyo Guardian was just so high. The LT was like 45. People were trying to sell the 10s at like 30s. Like it was ridiculous. And the people that were smart about it, they would just list theirs for 20 bucks, move along, take their $15 profit from when they bought them for fives and just make free money and a lot of people didn't realize um, what they were doing uh, so very 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 smart thing um, if you continuously just list your card one dollar below uh, or if you take like an eight dollar cut and list it um, your card will sell instantly you'll make the free profit profit is profit granted it might not be as much profit but people will probably argue with me uh, for maximizing profit but making fifteen bucks as opposed to not making that fifteen bucks at all it's just something to always consider. Uh, so, Goyo Guardian's floating around 20 bucks for the Ultra first ed, uh, give or take. Um, it depends what you're feeling that you want at the time, honestly. Um, it, it It's player preference. I mean, you can play the Tin, you can play the Ultra, you can play the DT, you can play the Ulti. Um, it's all personal preference. Uh, the card is kind of settled now that, you know, things have gone by. Like I said, the Ultra's sitting at 20. Uh, the Dual Terminal... Um, there's quite a few of them sitting up here uh, for 25 You want to spend the extra 5 bucks and just go with the DT. Um, it's up to you. Uh, if you're planning on just trading for them, uh, not much of a real loss. It's only 25 really. And then the ulti, amazingly. Um, quite a few of these ultis are popping up right now. Um, they might be unlimited, they might not, but you can get an ulti from anywhere from 20 to 25 uh, It's pretty interesting knowing that the ulti is considered a lower rarity than that dual terminal super. So, just something to consider. Um, Galios have tanked a little bit. Um, there is a major rumor going around that it might be getting the reprint in the 5D's Legendary Collection, which I mean, hey guys, it was a synchro after all. So, that's just my two cents. Um, I wouldn't want to invest in Goyos right now unless you need one to play for yourself. And then, I mean, then again, it's only 20 bucks to get a really broken card. Moving along, um, mistake. Uh, so this card just keeps going down and down and down. Mistakes are officially 10 to 12 bucks now. Uh, it's really disgusting. Um, if you're looking at getting a really good trap card that basically says, hello, I'm a Thunder King, uh, you might want to consider just dropping the 10 bucks and picking up a couple for yourself. Uh, it's not like it's going to really go down much more in price. I mean, I don't think this card would settle very well being an $8 card because I feel like people would just keep picking them up. Uh, certain cards just hit price marks that people just start to pick them up just because they can and I think that mistakes eventually going to hit that point uh, next up a really major increase I didn't actually expect this to happen curry bandits are like 15 bucks a piece now like why with the ban list and things like that um, I remember bandits being like seven bucks for a while and then all of a sudden they just exploded in price I think it's because people are still forecasting dragons to be one of the best decks and considering uh, the way the format's shifting up uh, bandit really is going to be a powerhouse card and it's not like it's gonna get an immediate reprint anytime soon so if you have bandits you might want to sell them off because they're going up in price we have no intent to use them moving along here uh, the artifact stuff, oh gosh. This this deck, this deck tanked. So, morale tax are down to 6 to $7, which is disgusting. Um, it's kind of writing that in sector train now. Uh, now that, you know, the deck is lower. Um, it depends. This stuff can shoot right back up right now. Um, so if you're planning on picking up uh, this stuff, you might want to pick up your morale tax at 6 and your ignitions at tens. Um, I mean, this card should have been this price when it came out, uh, but definitely something to consider at this point in time is the fact that you might want to start picking up these cards because they are 
at the price right now that you might want to start investing. So the artifact stuff tanked pretty hard, but if I was a player and I wanted to play the deck, I would probably consider picking it up currently because nothing really happened to the deck. Uh, Downer Magician, this card just keeps going down, down, down. Uh, they're like, <sighs> this card was like 12, then it went up to 20, and then I think it was 25, and then it rolled back down to where it is now. Uh, it's really disgusting. Uh, this card used to be really good uh, for when it started to see its prime when the set was released. Uh, now the card is at $10. Um, I th think they're going down even further than that now, because uh, I started to see some at 9 uh, so, just something to consider that if you have Downer Magicians, uh, you might want to hold on to them. I mean, it's not like it's going to go up anytime soon, and it might be getting the pending reprint in the 10 this year. Uh, next up, Pleiades. Holy crap, did this card kill itself. Okay, so Pleiades were like 12 to 14 bucks a few day, or a few weeks ago, and then I turn around and look, and then all of a sudden they're down to $8. What happened? I know that artifacts really prove that they don't need the card, and I expected the card to last a little bit longer than it did in price, uh, but it just fell. So if you have Pleiades or need a Pleiades now, uh, save yourself five bucks and pick up one. Uh, this one is also another one that tanked really hard Majesty's Fiend. Uh, this card was like twenty-five bucks uh, two weeks ago, and then players started to kind of just roll off the hype train of it. Uh, card settling steadily at 15 to 20. Um, like I said, if you really need to pick them up, um, try to get them at 18. Seems like a pretty fair number. Uh, Felgrand is roaring up in price. Uh, this card uh, was 20 for a while. Um, it's starting to head up towards 25 now, because uh, once again, dragons are forecasted to be one of the best decks in the game. Um, Wiretap is also going up. Um, I remember you can buy these for two to bucks a piece. Uh, and have no consequences or shame about it. Now they're five bucks a piece. Uh, if you had wiretaps and you were sitting on a horde of them, uh, you probably made some free money. Um, I mean, like I said, profit's profit. You know, a two dollar card becoming a four dollar card is always really nice. And considering boxes of Dragons of Legend are like eighty bucks a piece right now, uh, which in and of itself is really ridiculous. Uh, Soul Charge is also going up. Hey, remember those uh, Dragon Rulers? Uh, Soul Dredges were four bucks uh, pre ban list. Uh, they're starting to head up towards seven, eight now. So if you have Soul Dredges or need them, you might want to pick them up before something happens. I don't think that they're going to get ridiculous prices, um, but just fair warning that this card is starting to move back up in the rise. And speaking of the rise, the last card, uh, that Rainbow Karibo. So the last time we had this Rainbow Karibo hype was, I believe, in Atlanta this year. Uh, no one really batted an eye at it, you know, just kind of was doing its thing. Then it just disappeared off the face of the planet, went down to a $4 card, and now it's roaring back up in price because of this Lightsworn hype that's abusing it. So, the card is rising back up in the price. Um, if you picked them up when they were 4 or 5 bucks a piece, good job. Uh, you made a solid, worthwhile investment. So, uh, there's a lot of things in this video, um, both to consider picking up and not to consider picking up. This is by far not everything that is happening currently in the game uh, via trends, uh, but it's just things for you to consider. So, guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I mean, I don't always get everything right. I uh, just try to hit key points off of what me and my friends uh, find out in here. And, yeah, so, all right, guys, I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.